What is the Zach factor? I'm going to say. Women are nervous. They get smaller. Boys, say hands of palette. Now, boys, I want you to read the colors from it. Think close together. Just the colors of that point. Habit. Habit. And it's 
Australia. And get home. Get home. I'm going to press down your wrist, face down your arm. Now, like the bars, anybody? I'm just going to press down, you resist them. And watch them resist them. That's your first thing. Kelly, do you shout to the back the three crowns? My name is Kelly. My name is Kelly. And you're? Yes. My name is Dan. My name is Dan. Go! My name is Dan. My name is Dan. My name is Dan. Appreciate it. He's done something right. 
all the mistakes disappear. So the infinity said, is that right? You remember what you feel, not what you're told. So don't be a coach that says, we lost the day because of this dude of told You can't remember. Nice. Routine. Same thing every night, only different. If you look at that night, you can see there's about 15 sessions there so far. Everything's the same. But there's not one session missing. But there's a template, and everything's covered. Physical, mental, tactics, games, set pieces, game time, game system, all covered. Routine. Greek. Are we all victims of habit? Hands up those of you who still put a mask on, hands up. Is it the same mask every weekend if you can? And the same seat in the chapel? And go and say, what, I'm going to be French visitor to someone sitting in your seat. I see it, don't worry, don't worry, sit down. Great. Now, those of you who thought you were reading the colour, no more yet was reading the colour. Because you're too old. Only oh, my age, you know, well. Colour and word didn't match. That's why they stumbled. So when you can't cope with something, your brain doesn't know. When you can't cope with something, your brain knows. So get that right in the section, even during the four-year-old. Because if you don't understand something, you will never, never learn it. You'll copy it once. You can't do it. You rely on it. You see it short. Now, these two parts of your brain, then, is what you're using. If you look at your map, in here is the seat of all emotion. Here there are no more. <coughs> oh, from here, direct about. Here, no emotion. You see in the map, that's the seat of muscle memory. That's a child's brain up to about seven. They have a really long term memory and they cannot do high level thinking. Not sure what. Hello. A piece of clothing in my body now. My thinking here. Long term or short term memory of the short term. That's why you say, oh, this is a great idea. As you're doing it all day, that's why I gave you the answers already. He was on a job here this very day, right? Okay. Long term memory. That's where it plays in. But what is learning? How many of you know? The acquisition of knowledge and skill. Hello? The acquisition of knowledge and skill. You can only fade. You can still get knowledge and five. Now, I'm not going to there. Don't go tell us what they are now. See, we're talking about more oh, massive life is shoot. Don't go with Jay's head. In fact, don't go with a head at all. A good coach can down there that by the level. They'll even come in your shoulder. You're strong up here, they're freely. Stand up. What's your name? John. John.
a taxi. Where would you bring a taxi? And what will it do? Ah, next word's great, but what's the next word after bring you home, take you home? Safety. Thank you. There you go. So you have now understood the function of a taxi. Agree? <laughs> and even now, it doesn't even tell the exchange of the right taxi. The angel is not. What do you notice about all the taxi numbers? Come here. Ah, I'll never even hang it up there to try to do it tomorrow. <laughs> Easy to remember? That's the secret of learning. <laughs> you understand it, you remember it, you never learned it. If any one of these two fail out, you're not going to learn. You'll copy, you'll know where you're going. Thank you, gentlemen. Now, there's a French philosopher called Foucault who put a word of warning to all of coaches. He said, coaches know what they do. They frequently know why they do it. But often they don't know what they do, does. Agree? Mm -hmm. Now, be careful of somebody saying, you're a great coach. Be careful of somebody, even the young ones said, we love your trainers. I'm going to say, look how I do on my way. Now, some other coaches or people watch them and say, there's a great buzz tonight. You may get that for three or four weeks. But then suddenly, the first couple of matches you play, it's all wrong. You've learned now. Agree? Because you haven't checked what's going in. And don't play the dog dog your players. Play the dog dog in the back of the yard. Everybody's done stand up. Yes, coach. And you turn your back. You know what he's talking about. <laughs> You have to fill that into your coaching. And chat. Not a test, some way of debating it. And don't take it out of the players by testing them and see who you find out with. Long term memory. Read your mouth. The two boys whose muscles weakened when they said they were weary, that's what happened. And you have deeply, 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 deeply held views. <coughs> and they conflict with what you're consciously thinking. And I'll give you a good example. I've been quoted in the papers the last few weeks. The North's problems, God bless you, we have a lot thank you all, would be solved if a lot of, half the people in the North got rid of the mindset, no surrender. That went, the troubles went in in the morning. For they alluded to the mindset of Sir Kenny, no ball, no ball, we can't do anything else. It's all going to try. May all God bless them, I could learn. Suffer from, they don't want to watch fail from Lady Rivy Wall, took me never went fail, we never went fail, we never went fail. Great. All oh, those mindsets. Kick over your left foot. Hi, John. No, you're not saying that. You're not saying that. I'll give you an example of how you could fix it. We all arrive at a jukebox. What do we know? Sounds good. Select it. I got that. What does it say? Well, the same takes an actor, press button. And the wrong record comes up. What are some people liable to do? Kick the machine. Load that. Or go away and huff. And I ain't get my money back. What does the sensible boy do? 
enjoy the taste and read water. Agree? So you gotta find some way. It does that phrase exist in life. I know how to press his or her button. Alright? Girl, you have men in your life. You want to get them to go shop. See the shopping list? All you need to do is put a big red dot or a green dot in front of the blue ones. They'll shop because they love bullet points. Give them a list. Sit in the car park. I'll have you everybody from. Boys, and you already know the answer. Here I come. <laughs> and there's boys who I don't like. That's all true. I usually wind them up in the supermarket. And if I come along with this, I said, God, I love your hair. You got it done recently. <laughs> See, hey, you would never say that to me. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> 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 and I would then tell you, say, look, I think that much of you, I can teach you how to speak to her. This is a huge part. This is called your subconscious. It's also your autopilot. Hands up to the coaches here that I'm going to ask you from your city. Have you ever heard the phrase, the now? Play in the now. Hands up, please. The hand up's for you, by the way, not me. Because that also tells me one of my players who are still in the screen, remember the screen? Why don't you put your hand up? Where are you eating the stone jar? So hand up again. Who's ever heard of the now? Come on. When you see there's no threat, so you're not being embarrassed, everything goes up. So, the now is your subconscious. It only does now. It does do past tense, it does do future tense. It is the switchboard of your life. It is also the store of all your emotional memories. Hands of those of you who dare this. You tapped in your subconscious. Now, excuse me, ladies, for I might try something new, but you're not subscribed because you'd be too embarrassed. But all the men, who's your eyes? Who's your eyes, please? I'm going to say something. And we'll see what happens. Who's your eyes, Martha? Pamela Anderson. What's his name for a And he's making a picture of the Girls, I'm trying to do, it might work as well. And you want to put a show down here and like, don't you raise girls? The Coke Godbird, Mom the Mom with you. Ah, I got a crazy mistake of you from the Coke then down the hill. <laughs> There's a coach at his best. There's a word from that part of your brain which opens a picture from this part. So you shouldn't have to shout your prayers. Buzz word opens a picture. American football, all the things. You can all talk to me about the sharp things. 4 4 2 and all of right? That's all you've got to say. <coughs> so, your language paints a picture. Make sure the pictures you paint. Every player, especially the young one, is a positive one. Constantly high five them to get away from mistakes. You see why short. Now, we the difference between these two. The subconscious is your main storehouse. If you haven't trained something repetitively where they understand it and can use it and all the wee sub variations. They'll never play it with it. Which is You see a little thing called the RAS? It's about the size of your thumb. The back of your brain. Takes in about 8,050,000 year long messages a day. Environment, all of you. Right now. And it filters them. Depending on your mood, I'll prove to you, who has ever talked themselves out of doing something? 
who is ever taught themselves into doing something. That's a classic example of changing your mood. And the first time you didn't want to go, the wrong pictures were getting through because of your mood. That's where the bogey team comes in. Anybody makes a statement, they always make us. There are bogey team. What happens next one? Because you're pretty sure, I can remember, remember how they do a stinker. Remember you fell over the ball. And keeps it. And that's where you play. And you stand off, like I said, here in the Malay Mark. And you can, as body, hold you, change your mindset. You just proved it. Talk yourself out of it. Talk yourself out of it. Who knows talking to himself? Yeah, you better all put your hand up. Always oh, not down the bridge. Now your subconscious is this true. Hands up the guards in this room, members of the guard. A sworn promise, do not act on this. <laughs> <laughs> Hands up the people who at some time while they're driving even this morning. Talk to somebody beside them, put them with the radio, light the cigarette, comb on their hair, <coughs> look up, up, check on the back seat, okay? Shift their feet, arm here, and see somebody pull. Agree? Who has ever done that? Normal. Including the two yards, it's alright. I don't have a view. What should you have had during the time you're doing that? A what? Um, what might have happened? Should have happened in some cases. That's where his adverts were. Accident. Accident. Why was it no accident? Who was right? Your subconscious. Why? <coughs> because you take taken all the driving lessons and eventually somebody told you what? Sure. You can drive. Now I'm not having time to go through all those things. Subconscious and so on. The danger after that is people are driving, you know, no hands in the wheel. How does the conscious come in? It's been talking, it's made about last Sunday's match, last year's match, where you want to have this blah blah blah, and then suddenly, this is keeping you safe, but the subconscious realizes it's danger, and it says, shut your mouth, shut your mouth, two hands going the wheel, what's in front of them? Another car, or children, or traffic light. Great? Yeah. So that's when your two parts of your brain map. When that happens, you're on fire. Have you heard that phrase this morning? Yeah. In other words, you literally don't have to watch. They think. And when you're playing, Jesus, time's flying, I don't want to stop. There's a brilliant brain. There's a brain. Now you can coach on that. You're aware of all those things. Now, I've had time with you, we can go through, but there you are. The RAS is directed into your activating system. I'll give you an example. It's straight out in the morning. So we're on the street. Normal. Not near the city centre. Normal traffic up and down the road. Party for a pensioner next door or a door off. There's noise, but not except. But there's noise. And a baby six months old cries in the next room or the same room as mommy. Which sound wakens mommy? Because it was her priority. Agree? Now that's why that grass is there. Grass comes from the Greek word, mean of it. The net, it catches the thoughts you want. So every morning, you should put yourself in a good mood. Now, the reason why I did, you've seen that in the diagram, now, the reason why I did that, the words and colors, is that once you get to about 11 or 12, you start using language. Before that, the children can't even talk colourful and are so full of equipment to make them survive. If we are on earth to survive, 
the all the creative equipment we need. Unfortunately, that body trying to find out is destroyed by adult coaches. It's reckoned by the ages when adult children have heard 100,000 negative sound bites. Stop doing that. Put off the question. What do you got? Do it the right way. Put your mind. Praise the rest. And you need to praise what they're good at. Only then. Forget about mistakes. And I'm going to want them. That's the story of that. You discovered that there are two parts of it. Left side and right side. One is unconscious, one is subconscious. Which one of those is black and white? Where's your emotion? Which one's colorful? Which one of those black and white or color best describes the word understanding? No, no, black and white or color. The word understanding. Black and white. It's as clear as black and white. Night and day. Day, dark. So the left side of the brain, the short term, is your understanding. The equipment you were born with is in your diagram. Question them, question them, question them. You all turn around four year old questions. Don't stop. They're going to. What happens to the best thing when they get the second script? We're going to ask Play. What are you doing in there? And once they understand, even you, when you understand something, is this true? The first thing is that you want to do I want to do this myself. That's creative strawberry learning. I told you, start too many, too much coaching is tell, 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 tell. Don't you just yes, go to sleep? Well, set the spark. Let the creativity go. Years ago, for the older members among you, they must be the oldest there. It used to be joy to say, I won't back them. And they'd meet you and say, John, we can see what I can do. See when you got that? You're in heaven. You're really that that child of heaven. And the subconscious is your switch forward. Every single thought goes through your subconscious to check what happened in the past. Girls, the boys won't understand this because they don't like shoes. But well, I asked them about football boots. No. Have you ever walked into shoe shop, girls? Send yourself go and I'm going to get a pair of shoes. Well, she's right there. Nobody's getting them. Did that ever happen? Hello? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and some big snooty shop assistant living in the middle of the Excuse me, Mom, would you try these? I don't know. I don't these. Which was the shorter decision then? Of course. Because when you said I want all the pictures, what privilege you've got was probably white with a red string. Sound was that boom. Very privileged. And then some of them more. See, let's focus in clear. Your mind is such a simple organism to make it work. Understanding is the left side. Questioning, problem solving. Do you have born problem solving? Can anyone give me an example of an early problem solving? Episode that you experience. Learning to feed yourself. Even before that. Or right at the same time. It, it, that's that era. Anybody here with young children or those of young children are they left near the stir? Yeah. Share that creativity gone. Gate on the stairs, the more far should be put in the gate beside it. <coughs> And the other one, if you take the moment it comes out of the womb, that's why some of them are born on the water. They can what? Swim amazingly. A four year old has to get swimming unless they feel the water. Why? Most time you have the sea saying, Nobody in the water, son! You can swim. Suddenly, gravity comes into big bones. Daddy's getting on your legs, has to go down there. 
So they sit in there, and she's telling her, his wife or her daughter, and everything's happening. And then 20 minutes in, scream of despair, forgot about who. And she's like, that's the strange thing to do. Look at free look. And you go out there and say, they say, there's a sort of red pop effect. Has the same been up and said? Problem solved. Important. So our job is to feed it. Questions, problem solving should be encouraged. No telling. Now, here's the essence of learning. And then I'll give you the discovery of learning. Quite quickly. Right? No setting school. Here was taught by Christian Brothers. Yeah, and those slaps. The age of rope learning. Telling them so you memorize it. Your motivation was because the teacher wants me to do it. Compliant, if I can do that. Better let go to my security step. Depend on the coach, knowing you do. You check the balls, you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't know your words, shut up. I did it. Call by a mimic. And we're also born to mimic. So let them mimic. Any of you men have sons, or there's girls who have sons. Stop it, this might say you want the jersey with so and so on. Right? What's in the stream? If that player has one shot down there and he spits away down, touches the ball, there's that. Mimic. And that's how a lot of them taught themselves very close years ago. People down and didn't have most of these six people. And that, they know the what, but they don't know what to do with it. They don't know the sounds. They're quick and in the exam. They're in the match. Here, they're allowed to think about it, start to get interested. That's intrinsic. There's an interpersonal relationship with the coach. They're interdependent. Let them play off some days of the sailings and share them. And they understand. Six times two. It regularly. Because they haven't repeated it in different ways. That's your queuing committee. Even there, there's no. You can take them all and say, it's all there, go to the back, there, go to the back. The only way now is now to stand outside of the ball. Intuitive. Shaved and saying, now, you give me two other versions of tomorrow. Who has ever, ever used trains beside lane kick or kick out in their teams? Keep your hand up if you ask your players to get another one. Really? Your players, well. So, how are you going to make really new life? Don't have them depend on you because you don't. I don't know everything. And they have ideas. In fact, some players have better ideas than us. Agree? Can't be Now, cute. I'm cute. Can you look at me? Yeah, here I use it. I'm going to watch. I'm going to get up. See, match day. And that mood's working brilliantly. The crowd's coming. That horse is a great coach. Not me, do you? <laughs> that's the three stages of the work. That's the why. That's the discovery there. Right. You see the big, or the you, there's a sheet there with words that you can't see. Is Carl still here? No. Are you? You see if they get what you've got. Isn't it? Could you all read down that line twice and read down that line twice? Just in your own time, it's quickly, folks. And not be long.
two lines to write down. What two columns here by eight and nine? However, in the experience of what's there, you find one side, which side do you think you learned about? B. Why? Cara, I'm going to ask you a question because there's nearly an hour and a half ago. What goes with Salsa? What? Cheers. Shall I hear it? Cheers. It's up to you. See what you get? There's no right or wrong answer, that's what I told you. There's what? You see what I'm talking about? Now, why do you think we're able to remember these sides rather than yes? <sighs> Look at the big double sheet, F3. Is there an article called Deep Practice? That should be your first gun. What's it called there? Deep Practice. That's what Paul he was talking about. In the game, I read. So you've got to cultivate that where people are learning. Wooden tops is about job wooden. Too many people rubbish shouting about this. Ask check and all, never put it. All the stats are taken on a Sunday. What's wrong with you in training? Can you fly about what you're doing well? And what you need to fix before Sunday? Who do you take stats or something? Because they're only ever really in. How does it really hurt either of it? Most of your players, you think, like, well, he gets like him. Strikes the brain, do like him, isn't it? No, no, not at all. Now, try that in your own time. Now, there's another one there, isn't there? Well, it's not there. You've got the audio. Yeah. But well, look at this one. John Lawrence down here? Well, he has the seat down here. Very good. It's taking responsibility for your own learning and development a good way of learning. It's discussing what has been learned. That's your mom. What you, what you do, you do. Quiet compliance. Rubbish. Here. Dismissing ideas? No. In your own time, because you're going to get the answers after this evening. When you go home, put it in the back, see if you can do it without. Before you look at the audience, the sad audience you have in there because I did that deliberately. So those are ways of learning. It's coaching strategies, every single word. You've learned now, you put a bit of difficulty into it. Now, <coughs> these articles, I've been doing that, that's, that's six months of research, by the way, we all forgot. My event. Is a fatty protein in your brain. Beautiful. Beautiful. Imitate a chair that was like 15 months ago. I don't know how to walk it. Get up on your feet. Get yeah, up on your feet, stay small. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yes. He's going like that and then he's trying to use green bombs. Agree? Will he stop? No. No. <coughs> what are you doing? A gear. And a gear. And a gear. Agree? And every little bit that he gets better. What happens to his face? It's And we grabbed him this morning. Unfortunately, he had very tender, and then I'm a great cracker. He jumped down the stairs quicker than I've been told that he's walking quicker than that, and I do believe that I would do a great cracker. So. Right. so, baby steps is the way to learn. What we want to have done in an hour. No, Trinity, it's all right, kick on the end, but you got that kick? Yeah. No, you haven't. It might take 12 years, 6 years, 6 months. Baby steps. Because life goes like that. Now watch. On the stairs, walking. What's the child nearly tiny with one or two pounds? What's they're always doing? What are they always doing? Walking or reaching? Reaching. You see? Reaching. So discovery learning 
for anybody. In the trees. It's based on going slightly past your current limit. Does that make sense? Where you can see where to reach. Agree? Now, it's in that argument again. Is this true about a chain? They try. They try again. They feel again. Now listen carefully. They feel better. They feel better, better. They feel it. Now, the first article, human anatomy. While you're trying to walk, your brain is full of neuron fibers. Millions of them. And once you say walk, there's a new fiber start. Every single time you get a new limit, the moment, the eureka moment, the spark, you've got that protein wraps around it. It's called myelin. Who's ever heard of it? Myelin. Good. Need somebody ask them. I've heard of it. And then it goes on. And the second you do that melon with repetition, getting better, getting better, the radiation, it gets so sick, you could literally become a concert pianist at what age? Sick. Now you know why there's some geniuses. It's not. It's to do the way they practice. Deep practice. You have to want it bad enough. Does that say you want to walk? Does it? Are you got to get that into your players and you'll not get it into them insulting them. Shouting at them, you've got to take a piece and you've got to be clear in your definitions on what you're expecting. You've got to ask them questions, you've got to let them try and create their own. Because if they've got the technique, it becomes their skill, agree? Now you look at your own Dublin team. They don't kick the same, no, no. They all have a kick, agree? Good kicks. They don't kick at different styles, but they've got the basic technique. And that's all it took for a kid to it. You know. There's no eye count. Because that chair doesn't think eye count. But you weren't born. Now, the other thing I'm going to show you. Can I bring them in? Good bad. There's a few big boards with emotions for them. Well, and a big board of colourful emotion. Think of all Love and warmth. Good communication. Appreciation and gratitude. Are they a four-year-old child? Hello? Curiosity. But it's a four-year-old child with a cat by there's some curiosity. Determination? That's why I get so much of the same Christmas present. You ask too many. Determined. Flexible? Yeah. Starting to cry when I give you guys stop. Full of confidence? You started chatting the four of my gathers. I'm saying, I'm sorry, gathers. What did you say? Full of CV climate? You say, can you claim it? And you hold it up and make it be an intro room. It's not very good. What are you coming? Do they contribute to everything? Are they cheerful? Full of eight holiday? Is that a four year old child? Is that an hour? No. Very good effort. He laughs at me every time he comes I cultivate those. I think you meet me. So we have experienced it. How are you doing, John? Wonderful. Right, I get a flow to it. What happens to you? Are people standing away? Yeah, come on. I'm glad you are wonderful. I'm not. Oh, Why not? You cultivate them. You get those in your players. Don't tell Because there are no such things as positive emotions. There are powerful emotions which empower you to do and others. If you are confident, you gain the confidence of others. Hurt, disappointment, feeling overwhelmed, feeling inadequate, guilt, loneliness, 
anger, frustration, discomfort. What type of emotions are they? They're not. And you wipe that out of your memory bank now. There's no such thing as a negative emotion. A good man above put emotions into you to use them, not be used by them. You're sitting on a lumpy cushion, feeling discomfort. What happened? What's your body telling me? They might shift your ass, would you? Agree? Do something. If you're overwhelmed, in other words, who's the person? John is going around me. I'm in a family six times in a row. It's the right time I said, right, John, overwhelmed. My greatest skill is. I will attack with you by feet forced, I will attack on feet forced, I will move on. Use your strength against them. But all the things that you think are overwhelming and dealing one at a time will call. Feeling inadequate, you need upskill. That's why I'm encouraging because they do it regularly. On the rain and the balloons, that's the way. You can Darrell Shea's right there and he's booting me in the balloons. One green used to be more asked because there's no public feeling. Jar go, I said to him, there's no bars in the balloons, there's a good thing, but there's only two balloons here. Me and the balloon and you. Nobody's laughing at you. <laughs> For his catching. He said, I'll hold the balloon. There you are, catch it, catch it. You know yourself, you throw a ball. Out of ten throws, many are you going to get ready? Very few. But all of those emotions are warning or action signal emotions. And they're natural. And the four articles, you see the deep practice. There are four parts. Now I'm just hoping this works. And then I'll let you go. You've seen the Madeline part. Read John Wooden's article. It's about the way I pray to coach for myself. Don't stop them. Just keep commenting. Rabba, 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 rabba. You're good at it. You're good at it. No. Careful, good at it. Constant, constant, constant. Be a gay on the side. Come here. Don't stop the game. Less intimidation, less embarrassment. Don't be the seeds on the stage. This is the seeds on the stage. Holly was the seeds on the stage. Be a gay on the side of your football. I have girls in the minutes, one of them. All of my life was sessions and two nights ago I had the other coaches who were still learning to do and I was standing. Look at it, yes. What's the first thing? Go to Hold it, 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 What's that doing? Teach her how to make runs, hold in her run, rather than check. No, I don't check. I don't want to do it anymore. Right, this is a girl from Arla, a little bit of tennis, up here, but there's a photo of her. That's a video. And you can't really see it. <laughs> but hopefully you can hear it. Good contact or not? Listen deeply. Close your eyes. Best way. If you're hearing something, close your eyes. Solid or tinny? Tinny. Tinny. So, me and you have to go. <laughs> to get the sound right. Don't say that's no, that's wrong. No, we got it. You felt that. That's what I'm saying. We've got to get agreement with the player. So, I said to her, that sounds tinny. She said, that does. I said, well, you tell yourself why. It's tinny. Where are you hitting it with? She said, I mean, my toes. You know me, I'll talk, I'll talk to her I'll have nothing. Then you get this toe down and all of those. She also discovered in it, the last year, two lots, you know. Yeah. I know it's going to be very quick. Is your head up too quick or not? What? Yeah, 
Let's go. So what I'm just going to do here, because we're heading the zone, you lose control to the direction floor. Now, since that, this is what I'm getting back. I'm going to show it all in. Just going to the see color. That's a bit of Seventy five photos of herself with comments about herself underneath it, where her head was up the brain. Now that's because I used to look at a player and say, What I see and what you feel when they're mad. But now I don't. Use this, and I tell you about that, and it says it's going to be a tablet. Excision video. So, as it says there, you see the article on deep practice? Absorb the skill. So you as a club should get the skills broken down. Look at the skill, where's your head, where's your feet, in the video, sign in with Jim Palmer. Then, she should be with you, be able to break it down in its chunks, its part. You know, like a kick, contact the hard foot, fast leg, chest on. All skills can be broken down into the head, arms, feet, part. Look at the chunks. Then once you fix it, you think, do it slowly. Does that make sense? Really slowly. Kick in slow motion, block in slow motion until you feel about the technique better there and then do it slightly fast. You go back to slow fast. Does that make sense? And then you try it. Because if you don't master the movement, you ever see the golfer? Jack Nicholas. I saw it many times in my head. Thousand. So you've got, let them see it, and you get her your papers, you get some footballers and papers, get her a press on there every week, they'll come because they want to have a paper, and then they'll give them this, this thing will bang, it was just putting on it. Chunk it, put it in this part, look at it slowly. You don't have to, when you're mastering the movement of skill, once you get the timing, so you don't need a hundred kicks. You just, I call them more of her, and these photos in there, religiously, any player would be a free taker, or any other. The free taker, especially I give them a reason called 33 feet. 10 straight from the goal, 20 yards out, 10, 25 yards out, 5 to the right or left, and you have to keep the same side over the night. 30, 10 yards out here, see the area where it is? You should miss them in there. And 3 odd distance. Text me back, 21 out of 33. What distance is he at? 30 meters. We're going to the first one. And we said it, didn't tell me just now. Pure contact, off the second before. Does that make sense? Self regulate. Self regulate. If you need it, get it inside, teach them through the point. And then lastly, that's why Maria is sending the photos on ours. Once you let them emotionally fail, you're not to be afraid of mistakes. Most of the things we do in life, even teachers in school, we teach them to what? Avoid? No, you're going to make mistakes. If you get them to avoid mistakes, they make them, they get frustrated, they don't want to do it. Get them to recognize that's not right. You don't even do right. You say, I don't do right or wrong. My phrases are, is it working for you? Is it not working? Agree? Stop the right and wrong. So, to the feel right. Because that's what they remember. Don't do me. Don't tally. So, they have got to learn to appreciate mistakes. Learn to recognize them. Does that make sense? Do not be afraid of them. Until you master the timing and the movement. And it lasts. Because it goes into that part of your brain called muscle memory. And that's the only thing I disagree with Paulio. The human brain, because it has so many fibers, you're capable of reteaching the skills to someone that wants to. Make them aware of it and say, no, I'll do it. Forget about it. They will. They want to do it. They can't. It's just a matter that's three products. No, two bucks. You get the money. Now, I'd love to spend more with you. Folks, if you do too, if 
If you do see the colored motion, the this sort of am I allowed to know from your glasses or the thunder pens, I don't know where it's going to Guys, um